Just two buddies out on an interplanetary road trip this week as NASA's Perseverance and Ingenuity rovers posed for a selfie on the Red Planet. NASA says launching a helicopter from the Martian surface could now be just days away. Release. Last July, the space agency sent the Perseverance rover on a months-long journey to Mars spanning almost 55 million kilometers. Perseverance must now find the perfect launch pad for scientists and crew on Earth to test the Ingenuity helicopter. Project manager Mimi Ong says the challenge is chopping through an atmosphere with only 1% of the pressure on Earth. The first and foremost challenge is to make a vehicle that's light enough, you know, to be lifted. And then uh, se second is to generate lift. You, the, rotors, the rotor system has just been very fast. The Wright brothers achieved the first successful flight in 1903, and NASA is looking to recapture that moment by attempting the first powered, controlled flight on another planet. The space agency recently moved the date of Ingenuity's earliest possible flight to April 11th. Meanwhile, NASA conducted a drop test of its next-generation Orion moon capsule in Hampton, Virginia. Orion weighs more than 6,300 kilograms and is part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to put the first woman and next man on the moon. In other news, the European Space Agency is hiring. For only the fourth time since the 1970s, the ESA is actively recruiting and says it seeks more female astronauts as well as people with disabilities. French astronaut and incoming ISS station commander Thomas Pesquet encourages people to apply. Too many people are not going to apply, for example, to a national selection because they think it's, it's really too hard and it's for a different kind of different breed of people. Uh, it's not true. I mean, it's not true, and I hope I'm a proof of this. We're all normal people. ESA the plans to recruit four to six career astronauts. The agency has only sent two women to space. Finally this week, over protests from astronomers complaining they blocked their view of the sky, private spaceflight company SpaceX launched another 60 satellites to add to its orbiting Starlink global internet service, which the company says will reach underserved communities around the world. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.